Okay, so hello and welcome back to another video. And today we have a new coin set. So the 2024 coin set is um, coming out as a ballot. I did enter, and this is for a coin set that's got 100,000. So you got another three hours until the ballot closes, as you can see down the bottom. And the extra coin set looks quite good. So change a monarch and thompson coins actually did talk about this so anyway my name's glenn i'm not thompson coins and he suggested that they should this is the first foot i had as well uh put different monarchs on the actual coins instead of the five effigies of uh, queen elizabeth ii and one of charles so you keep the last elizabeth ii you probably put on the five cent queen victoria Edward the Gee, I can't even remember the actual monarchs. God, the major is bad. Okay, so you got George the sixth and the fifty cent, George the fifth, Edward the seventh, I think, in Victoria. So they're the ones that reigned in the nineteen hundreds. Uh, Queen Victoria was not on the Australian coins, but the British coins that circulated in Australia. Uh, she was quite prominent on it. So that would have actually been a lot better. But anyway, so here is the statistics. There's 100,000. 100,000 coin sets. This is going to be very common. Uh, most coin sets in the previous years have had like 20, 30,000. Probably 40,000 is probably the maximum. 240,000 for 1988, obviously. And that's, you know, very common. So 100,000. Don't buy the hype. Now it costs forty dollars. Obviously, if the Royal Australian Mint, you got ten dollars postage. So here's the effigy. Got uh, now. I don't know who designed this DT. So we need to go to product page. Uh, so we have information up the top. Uh, Daniel Torn. So to design the effigy of a uh, Charles. Okay, got where to buy. Uh, EQL ballot, okay, it closes tomorrow at 8.30, so you would have got an email yesterday, or even the day before, uh, so you need to actually, uh, just enter, 50 bucks, it's not going to hurt you, and that's like a, an hour and a half pay for me, okay, so we got the 5 cent, the Mary Gillick, the 10 cent Arnold Mackin, uh, 20 cent the McLuth, uh, 50 cent Anne Rank Broadly, one dollar Jody Clark, and the two dollar Daniel Torn. So that's all the different designers that have uh, designed the effigies, and that's basically it. So if we go to eBay, you can see uh, that well. People are trying to sell them for a hundred bucks. So if we go search, so this is the pump and dump game, pretty much. So you got hundred, 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 hundred. These people haven't even got the coin set yet. Obviously, even coin shops haven't got it. Uh, yes, yeah, seventy, hundred, hundred. How much did I actually sell? look? Yesterday when I actually looked at it, there's only like six or seven listings. But now have a look at it. God, so many and none of these people have this set yet they've not been released it's just the ballot has started how many oh. so there's so many scumbags in this world that want to rip you off let's see how many idiots have actually purchased these so some of these would not be actual sold coins listings okay 100 100 some of them probably just, um, no, you make another account, just buy it yourself, and then you cancel it. And, wow, 100 bucks is selling for. When 100,000 is going to be very common. You know, a dollar coin, commemorative coin of 100,000, won't even get that much. You might be able to get 10 bucks maximum. So, uh, a lot of these sellers are just going to try and get this coin and 
you know, flog it off to you for so much money. But if we have a look at, oh, I don't know, let's have a look at another coin set. Uh, yeah, let's go have another high mint one. Okay, let's see, we can go to coin set. So, 1987. So, I can't remember how many of these produced. I need to go and get the coin out of the book. So, the Renix catalogue is where you get your, a lot of information. You can look it up on Numistop, but it's uh, a bit of work to actually do that. Uh, so, we need to go to page is it 160. Yep, REM sets, 1987, uh, 200,000. So, this is quite common. Maybe we'll go for one with 100,000. So, since yeah, 1988, they've actually decreased. And the issue, yeah, it's none of exactly 100,000. We go 2001, which had 90,000. So obviously, in 1987, 200,000, pretty much not an investment grade product. Okay, so 90, I oh know it's at 2001. So, as you can see, yeah, that's the proof set. $100. Yeah, so maybe it is worth that much. No, here you go. Here you go. $42. But there is a difference is that the $2 on this one will probably be issued for circulation. Uh, but... All the other coins will most likely not be. And these computer generated images are actually quite good. So, if we. There is no. Oh, 2016, I think, will be a good one to compare. No, I can't remember the change in effigy. Maybe it's 2019. Still, that one has gone up in price, but it's a low mintage. Okay, maybe 19. Let's have a look. Yeah, that one's pretty popular. Obviously, they issued, yeah, 95 bucks, but that has a low mintage, and you've got two coins in there that are not issued for circulation. So, it's pretty hard to find out how much those coins are actually all the coins it's going to be worth now a lot of people are probably going to buy a lot of them and they will split them up so that's basically what the coin set looks like it actually looks quite nice but at the moment when they're not out a hundred dollars no maybe a year time if you don't get it and the mint is not selling them yeah maybe buy it for a hundred dollars but, you know, just wait a few months. It's not really going to hurt. These are not going anywhere. Hopefully you're not going anywhere. And have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.